Welcome to Dark Caper Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning the basics lighting in Arnold. By the end of this tutorial we are going to be able to create this scene here. So let's get started. First we're going to want to go to our create tab marked by the cross and then to lighting. If Arnold isn't already in this menu, you click on this drop down menu, at the bottom there should be Arnold. Once you've selected Arnold, you need to click Arnold Light to get an Arnold Light. Once you've done that, click in the scene and you'll see a box with a sphere in the middle. This is your light. We can move this light by using our movement cursor to drag it around. I'm just going to lift mine up above my objects. But currently you see it's locked towards the floor. We can change this by going to modify and then clicking targeted. This gives our light a little box underneath. which allows us to aim the light as if it was a directional light. So I'm just going to put mine in the center of my objects and then move my light about 45 degrees to my objects. So let's see what that looks like currently. There we go. So as you can see it is very dark. The way we correct this is by clicking onto our light and scrolling down to where it says intensity and exposure. By increasing the intensity we increase the brightness of the light and by increasing the exposure we increase how much the camera, how much light the camera can take in. I've increased mine to 3 for intensity and 12 for exposure. And this is the result. If you want a reasonably dark scene with very harsh shadows, this is where you'll finish editing the lights. However, I want to give my objects some softer shadows. So if I scroll up to the top, so where it says shape, we have quad X and quad Y. By increasing the size of quad X and quad Y, we're going to soften the shadows as the light source is getting larger. So I'm just going to increase mine to 780 on both. And as you can see, my shadows are now a lot more softer around the edges. This is because the light source is so much larger now, it isn't focusing just on one point. From here, I want to create some scene lighting. So if you want your light source just coming from one direction, you would finish here but I want to create a scene like they have in photo shoots for instance or to display objects so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll out select my light and then hold shift and I'm going to drag my light so I'm holding shift while dragging my light and this creates a duplicate However, the duplicate is still locked on to the same point. So if I drag it over, say over here, like so, and I just want to copy as I want to be able to edit the lights individually. And then I'm also going to create a third light, like so. And I'm going to put that above my objects. I move a little bit further away so it's a little bit less strong 
and this is what I end up with. So this is very close to what I started off with at the start of this tutorial. However, in my original image, I had a stronger light on the right side so that my left side shadows were a little bit darker. The way I did this is selecting the light that I wanted to be brighter, going down to intensity again, and increasing the brightness of the light. I increased mine to 10, like so, and as you can see, the light source on this side is causing more defined shadows on the left side, while still keeping the fine shadows being projected from the left. If you want to give your scene some atmosphere, for instance if you want it to appear that the light source is warm, if you scroll up the page to color and intensity, next to color you select the light color, you can change what color the light is. For instance, if I have a slightly yellowed light, it gives the impression that the light is warm, for instance coming off of a fire. Alternatively, I could go for more of a blue, which would give the appearance that the area that my light is in is very cold. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it informative. Thank you for watching.